one thing I think which is absolutely certain is that if Jeremy Corbyn were to become leader, the prospects of Labour gaining power recede into the distance. So you, you agree with Tony Blair that he would be leading the party over the cliff onto the rocks? I think that's almost certainly the case. Uh, for for how I, long I, would Labour be out of power? Well, I think we, cer we certainly would not get it into uh, government in 2020. I think that uh, that would be a very distant prospect. Then we would be gravely weakened. And part of the problem here is that I, th that I think... Of course, I understand that there is a kind of enthusiasm for Jeremy in the way in which there was, for very different circumstances, an enthusiasm for the SNP and, you know, dismiss all the uh, old guard, of which no doubt I am uh, 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 an ornament. Uh, but this is about serious British and not least English and Welsh uh, politics. Part of the uh, difficulty is that those, most of those, particularly I think the new ones who've come in to the Labour Party in the last few weeks, take a different view of politics. It's very much sort of armchair politics. Some, some of them aren't bothered about whether we go into government. Now, that's their entitlement, but it's not what I've been in the Labour Party for for over and now 55 years, it's to gain power and to ensure that we can do something with the principles to which we hold dear. Isn't the trouble that you and Tony Blair are precisely the wrong people to be making this argument? Half of Jeremy Corbyn's supporters think that when the Chilcot report finally emerges, it's going to find that you should be in a war crimes court. Well, we'll wait to see what the Chilcot report says. Um, I understand, of course, uh, the feeling there is about the... Iraq war. That's why there's been an inquiry. But you can't dismiss all that Labour achieved over 13 years because of the Iraq war. But Some aren't you the people who drove them into the arms of Jeremy Corbyn? No, I don't, I don't accept that for a second. Not for one second do I accept that. And some of the people who are supporting Jeremy are people who voted for the Iraq war in any event, people like Michael Meacher. But the idea that the next general election is going to be determined by what happened in 2003-4-5 in respect of Iraq is frankly nonsense. It is not. It's going to be determined in 2020 by what kind of future is offered by the major political parties. Have you I, read his full economic policy when you say that? Yes. Or are you, or are you you're, no, you're of course I, 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 I've been on his website uh, and all of that, so I have read it and I understand what he's saying. So I why, mean, why I, is I, he wrong to say if you can give it to the banks, why can't you build infrastructure with it? Well, I'm just telling you, because you, you can use quantitative easing. It's quite a technical argument, but it's a really important one. You can use quantitative easing to improve the liquidity uh, uh, and the solvency of the banking system. And if that had not been done, then everybody, including Jeremy's constituencies and, uh, constituents and my former constituents, would have been in very uh, bad circumstances. You know, you, you've left Parliament now, but you've been talked about as somebody going to the House of Lords. Do you agree it would be wrong for you to go to the House of Lords while the question marks over you on... Well, there's a parliamentary standards investigation, there's Chilcot, and there's the question of, of, of rendition, which is still to be sorted out. Do you agree all of those things have got to be cleared well, look, up look, before you, you go I'm, on I'm with not, a political it's career? Not, it's, it's, it's not a subject, thank you, which I'm willing to uh, uh, debate. And if anybody who goes to the House of Lords has to pass various tests. So leave that aside, if you don't mind. Um, is isn't that I, I, about I, I, modern I, politics, though? And, and, you know... Sorry? Isn't that about standards and modern politics? Well, of course, it, and, and, and it is about... Th there is an issue here about standards and modern politics, and I say, uh, again, that I've sought to follow and have followed very high standards uh, in British politics. And just coming back to the issue of uh, rendition, uh, I wish I could talk about it, and one day I will, and I think people will be quite surprised about what I have to say.